happy that you know in the same way that you don't see oh this has gone into two in the same way that you don't see that the, the, i was just saying in the end of the last video you know people questioning how do you not see well sometimes people just don't want to see that things are bad and they're holding on to, and, and, and making up their own fairy tale story in the same way that sometimes you're destroying the fairy tale you know the opposite way people think that's maybe the most common um yeah there is that really weird video she's saying i need to stop but i'm not going to and she's filming richard and he's in his coat and he's outside with a trowel or a knife and there's a cat and it's weird but it shows his coat and his boots it's it's, it's very weird yeah anyway um So many people, yeah, as I was saying at the start, you know, they are immediately um, of the conclusion that Kathy Allen had to know. And certainly when we look at a few things, it seems like Kathy Allen had to know, right? But it's possible she didn't. When we look at um, other partners and why, why, you know, other partners of past serial killers they, they didn't until hindsight and it's possible in this case but I think now because of the development of social media since a lot of the serial killer situations in the past right so you know in 2000 and in the 80s and the 90s and everything it's a different situation to now right so now we've got a different way of examining kathy if you will um you know and and we can see her actions more closely than just taking her word for it and we can judge her personality so maybe this is a difference but i don't think if we saw judith's personality we would have seen Kathy's quite right, I think. Um, Judith Ridgway, ex Ridgway, definitely seems to be a genuinely good and nice person, whereas there is an edge to Kathy, but we don't know what this is coming from, right? And yeah. The long marriage that raised a daughter she's gotten married you know, all these milestones of life and things and and what does yeah what is her marriage to her what does it mean to her what does richard mean to her i mean she's either absolutely heinous or she's truly suffering now and i i think for the minute we have to give her the benefit of the doubt look we might find out more we might find out that she has um spoken to law enforcement that not only was keith and klein some sort of catalyst that but she was but i don't see that she wasn't separated from richard when they raided the house and when they arrested him right yeah, I mean, if she has known, if she has enabled knowingly, knowing what he, what he is, she's a monster too, okay? She is a monster too, and it's possible. But I, I do just think it's prudent to give her the benefit of the doubt and just wait and see. We're going to see Richard in a court appearance soon maybe in a week or so we'll learn that they are going to um open up the affidavit or whatever and we might get some more information what i want to know is did law enforcement know about richard allen for more than just a few months because they've just left people out there to be victimized just like they left people out there to be victimized by Keg and Klein. And okay, sure, we've got to sometimes look at the big picture. We are looking probably at an international network 
of people sharing CP, CSAM, right? An international network. I think this is very possible. And I think it's possible that maybe Richard Allen has been involved with this for a very long time. And who knows how we met Keegan Klein. I heard that they did live in Peru at one point. So look, what is very possible, what is possible is Richard and Keegan Klein had contact on February the 13th, 2017. Possibly they did meet at the Marathon gas station near Richard's home. Possibly Keegan Klein did go to the CBS CPS building, the abandoned CPS building at the head of the Trails Beyond Freedom Bridge. Possibly he was there from 12 to 5. Possibly he was there so that Richard could give him a device that was then taken to Vegas. This makes Keegan Klein an accomplice to murder. What the f Where do law enforcement get off? Bargaining with some uh, with him. Where do they get off? It's not righteous. It's not right. You know, six years. Imagine how many victims of these monsters there are. There's a lot. And I think we need to accept at the moment that Kathy could be a victim. Remember John Kelly's profile of who this person is. Think about what other killers have done in their primary relationships. Sure, not all of them are violent in their relationships, right? Because they're truly wearing a mask or maybe just truly being another whole part of themselves, right? With Gary Ridgway, he wasn't violent to his wife. But Shane Great was. Many of them are. Kathy Allen may have been throttled, raped, hit. Sure, she probably maybe gave as good as she get, gets at times because there's this crazy relationship dynamic going on there. But... She's always going to be forgiving him right, excusing it right. She has to be better than that, maybe. She has to be a better wife. She has to be happier. Do more activities to please him. But, oh, how devastating if this is some sort of sick private joke between this couple. Because we also need to accept that there are a percentage of couples that are part, both participants in a certain way, whether it's the wife willingly knowing, you know, knowing, but just turn, you know, just that's the arrangement. They don't do anything. Sometimes they even help with abuse, with predatory things, right? Sometimes they are even more violent than their male partner in the abuse. But accept it. Accept it. We don't know. It doesn't help anyone to fill up the airwaves. I guess that's what I'm doing now, right? Filling up the airwaves, making a lot of white noise. But, you know, to create stories and these situations and everything before we really know, is it really helpful? We need to think what's well, going to help. Okay, I've gone on way longer than I thought. This is 50 minutes in total. So this is part two of part one, clearly. Um, let me know what you think. I think most people are going to say, how could she not have known? Um, but maybe describe in further what you think about it. You See, this is, what, this is just what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to take it further than just the, oh, how did she not know? Okay. manipulative narcissistic husband whom she's she's addicted to the process of her part of the relationship oh i lost my blue jacket oh, i ripped it so i threw it up threw it away okay okay you know 
um, 30 years, right? This is this 30 year relationship and as I was just trying to describe a little bit, these, these relationships, when they have this dynamic of narcissist and codependent, they, they, the relationship just gets sicker and sicker the deeper into it they are. All right, speak to you later.